In this lesson, we're going to be learning one of the most useful features of the TypeScript language that is based on generics, which is the partial interface. The best way to understand the partial interface is to show you an example of when it would be useful. So imagine that you have a custom type in your program, which is the course interface that we have defined here. Now imagine that we are writing the database layer of our program and that we want to create a new function called update course. So the goal of this function is to update an existing course in the database. So let's go through the signature of the function. The first argument is going to be the course identifier, which is going to be a string. So this uniquely identifies in the database the course entity that we want to update. But next, what we want to pass in here is the values that we want to change in the existing entity. So we might want to change the title, the subtitle, the lessons count, or all of them, or a combination of them, depending on the update operation that we are trying to perform in our course entity. You might be tempted to solve this problem by defining here an update object, which would be of type course. And indeed, if we try to call this function here without implementing it, so I will leave the implementation for later on in the course. Right now, let's see what would happen if we would try to update an existing entity. Let's say that the unique identifier would be the number one. And now we want to update just the title of the existing entity. So we don't want to update the other properties. We just want to update the title. Then we can pass in here an object containing the changes that we want to make. And let's set here the title to new version of title. And now we would expect this function call to simply just work and to be able to update just one property in the database. But the problem here is that the update object is supposed to be a full course object. And for this object here to be a valid course object, according to the TypeScript compiler, we also need to provide the mandatory subtitle and lessons count properties. Now imagine a new version of this function call where we would like to update only the subtitle. So in that case, we would fill in here the subtitle property and let's add here a different string. Or imagine yet another third version of this call where we are trying to update just the title and the lessons count, but you don't want to update the subtitle. As you can see, all of these calls to update course are failing by the same reason, which is update is supposed to be a full course object with all its properties filled in. Now, one way that you might be tempted to solve this is to make every single property in the object optional. If you do so, then indeed, all of these calls to update course are now going to work without any problem. But this is not what we want. We don't want to change the modification of our business entity and make everything optional just to be able to support this particular method when we are trying to pass in here, not actually a course, but a part of a course. So we want to leave all the properties here as mandatory. And we would like to be able to create another type which is derived from course that has all its properties optional and be able to use it here. So that title would look something like this. I'm going to copy here this course interface and let's go ahead and let's define here a new interface called course update where now all these properties are optional. Now, all we have to do is to use this new interface that we have just defined here as our update parameter. And as you can see, this time around, everything is working correctly. So we do have here type safety in our update course method. We have auto completion. If we try to, for example, pass in here to the lessons count property, a string, we get a compilation error. So everything is working correctly. But there is just one problem. Even though we managed to define here a type safe signature here for the update course method, look what happened. We had to duplicate the definition of course and create an extra type, 
with the exact same properties and the corresponding types. The only difference is that they are optional, there is no other difference. So as we can see here, there is a lot of code duplication and for this to continue to work, whenever we add a property to course or we remove it or we modify an existing property, we need to remember to do the exact same change here to course update, otherwise the signature of update course is going to be broken and it won't work anymore. In order to avoid all this code duplication, what we can do is, instead of defining this redundant interface course update, we are going to instead define here the update parameter as a partial course and notice the generics here in action. So now we have used here a built-in partial interface, which is available as part of the TypeScript language that takes in a generic parameter, which is the type that we want to derive a partial version from. And this partial course here is exactly identical to the course update interface that we have defined before. So partial course is a course with the exact same properties as a course entity, but they are all optional instead of mandatory. So if we go here, we are going to see that we get auto completion. We get here all the correct property names and their types. And if we try to pass in here the wrong value to one of the properties, we get a valid compilation error as expected. Type string is not assignable to number. As you can see, the partial interface is extremely easy to use and it's very powerful. Using it, we can still write this function in a type safe way. We don't have to resort to passing in here any, for example. With the use of partial course, we still have full type safety for the update course function. Let's now talk about another very commonly used interface available in the TypeScript runtime, which is the read-only interface. 